वेलकम टू व्यूअर्स दिस इज अजय कुमार एम टेक वेल एस सिटीजन ओके टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट वेल एस सिटीजन बिफोर वी गोइंग टू इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ वेल एस आई वॉट इज द वेल एस आई वेल एस आई मीन्स वेरी लार्ज स्केल इंटीग्रेटेड सर्क्यूट इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ क्रिएटिंग एन इंटीग्रेटेड सर्क्यूट बाई थाउजेंड ऑफ ट्रांसिस्टर्स इन टू ए सिंगल चिप example of vlsi device is the microprocessor why vlsi it reduces cost power dissipation and also size it increase the speed also the evolution of microelectronics okay before um the mouse la jordan's mouse the co-founder of intel the number of transistors per chip would grow exponentially every 2 years that is double every 24 months the number of transistors also increases evolution of microelectronics up to 1950s the vacuum tubes are used in electronic circuits this is very large size and also power, very large power dissipation In 1947 the invention of transistor at Bell laboratory it is drastically changed the electronic circuits in 1958 Jack Kilby at Texas Instrument developed first integrated circuit from here the idea of integrated all the components on a single vapor came into a existence which lead to development in small scale integration ssi in 1960s medium scale integration in the late 1960s large scale integration as well as vlsi in 1970s and 1980s with tens of thousands of transistors on a single chip that is millions and now billions transistors on single vapor The first integrated circuit contained only few transistors up to 1 to 10 transistors are used on a single chip this is called ssi small scale integration example of ssi is the logic gates early linear ics the next generation of ics are msi medium scale integration this is we using 10 to 500 transistors on single chip the next development of integrated circuits taken in the late 1960s introduced device which contain hundreds of transistors on each chip called medium scale integration example of msi is the 16 bit shift register each development is large scale integration lsi in 1970s with tens of thousands of transistors per chip example of LSI is the 1 kilobyte RAM calculator chips first microprocessor the final step development process starting in 1980s and con- continuing through the present was very large scale integration VLSI the development started with th- hundreds of thousands of transistors in the early 1980s and continued beyond several billion transistors as of 2000 centuries example in 1986 the first one megabit ram chips were introduced contain 1 million transistors microprocessor chips processed the million transistors mark in 19 89 billion transistors mark in 2005 the trend continues with chips introduced in 2007 containing tens of billions of memory transistor next generation is the in proposed generation is the ULSI ultra large scale integration uh, integration the ULSI chips of more than 1 million transistors the design tools improved enough to make make it practical to finish these design in a reasonable time the more energy efficient cmos related nmos and pmos avoiding a pro- prohibitive increase 
in power consumption the table form indicates the the generations of the integrate in the classification of the integrated circuits and also uh, how many transistors are used in integrated in, in each integrated circuits the next one is the semiconductor road map in ICs in earliest ICs used bipolar technology and the majority of logic ICs used either transistor transistor logic TTL or emitter coupled logic ECL metal gate and channel metal oxide silicon and most technology developed in 1970s by the early 1980s the aluminum gate of the transistors were replaced by polysilicon gates the major improvement in cmos technology making it easier to make types of transistors and channel mos and p channel mos transistors on the same ic the principal advantage of CMOS power and MOS is low power consumption. The market requirements of the VLC chip is the reduced cost, increased speed, extremely low weight and volume that is small size, low power dissipation, customer satisfaction, beating competition, increasing functionality, increasing design security. Complexity and design Creating a design team provides a realistic approach to approaching a VLC project as it allows each person to study small sections of the system, needing hundreds of engineers, scientists and technicians, needing hierarchy design and many different levels views. Every one of each level depends upon the computer added design tools. Design flow. The design flow in this design flow, the first one is the system specifications. System specifications is defined in both general and specific terms such as functions, speed, size, etc. Abstract high level model. Abstract high level model contains information on the behavior of each block and the interaction among the blocks in the system. The logic synthesis is to provide the logic design of the network by specifying the primitive gates and units needed to build each unit. The circuit design where transistors are used as switched switches and boolean variables are treated as very voltage signals. Physical design the network is built on a Tiny area on a slice of silicon. Manufacturing. A complete design process is moved on to the manufacturing line. Now the next section is the hierarchical design. The hierarchical design in the uh, design, design flow is indicates that instruction set, basic components, Art, um, architectural model RTL and behavior HDL in this having the block diagram and uh, also test instruments logical next section is the logical description and functionality that is the functionality next one is the component level this is the port and it indicates the ports and uh, connections next section is the electronic uh, electronic logic circuits it indicates the electrical behavior uh, and next section is the silicon logic is silicon that is the silicon behavior it design its design is flow the, the hierarchical design is the two types one is the top to down design and uh, another one is the bottom to up design the top to down design the initial work is quite abstract and theoretical and there is no direct connections to silicon until many steps have been completed acceptable in modern digital system design Core design with combining hardware software is critical, similar to cell based design flow. The next classification is the bottom to up design. It starts at the silicon or circuit level and builds primitive units such as logic gates, adders, and registers as the first step, acceptable for small projects, similar to full custom design flow. The VLC chips are classified into three types. One is the full custom design, and then one is the application specific integrated circuits, that is ASIC, and last one is the semi custom design. 
in full custom design where every circuit is custom designed for the project extremely tedious time consuming process application specific integrated circuit asic using extensive suite of cat tools that portray the system design in terms of standard digital logic constructs including state diagrams function tables and logic diagrams designer does not need any knowledge of the underlying electronics or physics of the silicon chip major drawback is that all characteristics are set by architectural design semi custom design between uh, semi custom design between that of a full custom and asic using a group of primitive pre defined cells as building blocks called cell library various applications the the various uh, application is a uh, various is implemented technology for electronic circuits analog and digital it is concerned with forming a pattern of interconnected switches and gates on the surface of a crystal of semiconductor microprocess personal computers microcontrollers memory and uh, dynamic ram and static ram specific uh, purpose process are asic cd players dsp applications optical switches these are the applications of the vlsi thank you